is. All right. We'll see. All right. Welcome everyone to the class regarding um, this event regarding Immortel. We're going to go and dive deeper into that product. Uh, we're going to go into some of the science behind um, cells and skin and why this is a beautifying product. And we're also going to talk a little bit about each individual oil and some of its background from a biblical perspective as well. So I'm really excited to be able to share all of these with you. Um, I do have a PowerPoint that I'm going to pull up here. Uh, that will go. There we go. All right. I'm going to share my screen. All right. Now I um, have been using Immortel. I was using it for a really long time and then I stopped using it for a little while. And I was like seeing a difference in my skin when I stopped using it. Um, it's because one of the skincare products that doTERRA has actually has it like an almost like an Immortel serum. But you guys, it is not the same thing as Immortel. And I just got mine like a maybe two weeks ago and I'm already like a quarter of the bottle down of how often I've been using it on my face and I can totally see a difference in my face, in my skin. Um, I get was getting some of those wrinkles right here and things like that. So, um, so again, excited to share some of these with you as far as um, this this uh, this amazing product. So let's start with um, let's see here slideshow presenter view with this quick video um, talking about DoTerra and the gifts of the earth that they are to us. Can you all hear that okay? Gifts of the earth we receive daily. Air, water, food, life. And what about health? There is a gift from the earth for our health. And that gift is found here in essential oils. Essential oils are the plant's natural medicine against bacteria, viruses, and diseases that attack the cells. Lavender puts up thistly hairs to protect the dynamic chemistry found in the oil sac. One drop of essential oil contains hundreds of unique compounds offering powerful chemistry for fighting many different diseases. It's important to remember our bodies and plants have very similar building blocks. So, when we take these essential oils into our bodies, they are in a familiar environment and they go to work on our behalf just as they would for the plant killing bacteria, inhibiting virus reproduction, cleansing toxins, destroying parasites, oxygenating our cells, and boosting our immune systems. These essential oils don't just treat symptoms. They work at the root of the problem, at the cellular level. One of the greatest gifts for our health comes in this tiny, potent package. Major civilizations throughout the centuries recognized the capabilities of essential oils. Egyptian grave robbers would often steal the essential oils instead of the gold. Some of the first medical records from China show the use of essential oils. Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, used oregano in his practice. Frankincense and myrrh were brought to the Christ child. Essential oils were used throughout the Dark Ages for their antibacterial benefits. And even in World War II, they were used successfully to treat injured soldiers. Today, we see essential oils are being studied extensively and are being used in some medical settings. Many studies have documented that 100% pure essential oils have the capacity to stop superbugs like MRSA, relieve chronic pain, elevate moods, restore cells, and aid in treating life-threatening diseases. Is this surprising? Well, most of the items found in your medicine cabinets and major pharmaceutical drugs originated from the study of the active medicinal properties of plants. Drug companies study these complex plant compounds and can synthetically recreate some of their attributes. Then, proprietary fillers, additives, and modifications are made. Unfortunately, these modifications are foreign to our bodies and as we know, can result in negative side effects and dependency. Fortunately, there is another way. Millions around the globe have experienced how powerful the potent compounds and essential oils can be without synthetics, fillers, or additives. And what's surprising is that the essential oils are often faster, safer, more effective, and less expensive 
than the synthetic products. doTERRA essential oils are the only certified pure therapeutic grade or CPTG essential oils available. What that represents is a standard by which doTERRA grows, harvests, and tests their oils. doTERRA sources their lavender from France, their lemon from Italy, frankincense from Oman. All of doTERRA's oils come from specific regions where altitude, climate, seasons, and soil create the perfect conditions to produce the most effective essential oils. Then artisans of these regions, in partnership with doTERRA, extract the essential oils from the plants with integrity and patience. doTERRA then tests well beyond industry standards to ensure every drop is certified pure therapeutic grade. They are safe for topical, aromatic, and even internal use. The intricacy and detail that nature gives in producing a pure essential oil is a miracle. doTERRA essential oils truly are a gift of the earth from all over the earth. What might these gifts have in store for you? Now, I absolutely love that video and how it describes everything just in a succinct way of how we source, what oils can do for us, and what makes them different from anything else out there. And so today, our spotlight is actually of Immortel. So Immortel is our anti-aging blend. And also, we lovingly call it our Queen Esther oil. And we're going to talk a little bit more about what that means here in a minute. So when we look at Immortel, it actually is a blend of six different oils and four of them are actually found in the, in the Bible and were used in biblical times. So in this class, we're gonna go through the science behind anti-aging, the individual oils and how they work to make this actual blend. So how does anti-aging work? We're all looking for ways to look a little bit younger, have a little bit less wrinkles, maybe get some of the, rid of some of the gray, right? Um, but from a, from a science perspective, it's good for us to look at these things because it's good for our bodies as well and good for our cellular health when we utilize products like this. Um, there's many other products you can get that say they're anti-aging, but are they adding other things to them? Is there toxins in them that are actually wreaking havoc within our body systems that are messing with our hormones? And so we wanna make sure we're looking out for those things too because that can really play a part in, in our long-term health and wellness. Uh, if we have a lot of toxins coming into our body, our body is not gonna be in a state of health. And so it's important that we're looking to use the most natural things possible in all aspects of our lives, in including getting rid of and those wrinkles and things like that. So, so how does anti-aging work? Jamie's gonna love this because she's the science of the group. She just loves science. And so um, I'm happy to share some of it. It's not my thing. I love it when people tell me um, testimonials for sure, but we'll get into what this actually means. So, so first let's talk a little bit about what a healthy cell is supposed to do. So healthy cells proliferate or replicate, creating new healthy cells, and then they die off themselves. Some cells replicate and die off within three to four days. Um, skin cells, though, replicate and die off in about two to three weeks, okay? This is a healthy process. So when a damaged cell pro proliferates, it creates more damaged cells. These cells don't die off, therefore creating an unending supply of more damaged cells, sometimes resulting in a mass. This will continue until the whole organism is damaged and dies. Now, essential oils can assist the body in the healthy function of killing off damaged cells, which is called apoptosis. So they don't proliferate, creating more damaged cells. So let's go into more detail about apoptosis. Apoptosis is the process of killing damaged cells. If the damaged cell dies, it can no longer proliferate, creating more damaged cells. So frankincense demonstrates this beautifully. We apply frankincense and it penetrates to the cellular level. It attempts to rewrite the code of the damaged cell first. If it cannot, because the cell is too damaged, frankincense destroys the cell. This way the cell can no longer make more damaged cells. The only, only the healthy cells are left to replicate. This is anti-aging. It is essentially aging backwards. 
So it's very important in trying to achieve anti-aging in skincare and why it's excellent for damaged or wrinkled skin. Okay, so now we're gonna go through each of the oils and how they work in this blend. As you see, it's made up of myrrh, gum resin, frankincense resin, Hawaiian sandalwood, lavender flower, helichrysum flower, and rose flower. The OOB means that it's oils of the Bible. Those are the oils that are actually found in the Bible. So let's first talk about myrrh. Now, when the turn came for each young woman to go into King Ahasuerus, after being 12 months under regulations for the women, since this was for the regular period of their beautifying, six months with oil of myrrh and six months with spices and ointments for women, Esther 2.12. Myrrh has powerful cleansing properties. It also is soothing to the skin, promoting a smooth, youthful looking complexion. And it's why it would have been used in the beauty rituals of Queen Esther. Myrrh is a great skincare oil and it's mentioned here specifically for beautification. I appreciate oil companies who have done their research and include myrrh in their skincare products because myrrh has the ability to cause um, apoptosis or cell death to damage skin cells. This is why it supports anti-aging. It is responsible for apoptosis, the ability to rewrite the code of damaged cells or kill it so it doesn't proliferate, making more damaged cells. As a result, it's excellent for damaged or wrinkled skin, producing a true anti-aging effect on the skin. So some of the historical skincare uses for um, myrrh are religious rituals and embalming to soften the skin, Ancient Egyptians bought entire boatloads from the Phoenicians. It helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It also softens the skin and also contributes to apoptosis. I've actually been using it on my nails and cuticles and it's great for helping with that too. Soothing to irritated dry or chapped skin and promotes a youthful complexion. As you see in the bottom of this slide, there are many different um, um, Bible verses that are contributed to myrrh, okay? Now frankincense, that is known as the king of oils. Frankincense is actually a magnifier where you, if you use frankincense with any of your other oils, it's actually going to make them work even better, okay? So frankincense has been traded on the Arabian Peninsula for more than 5,000 years. Egyptian pharaohs used frankincense in skincare, beauty rituals, and even appear in murals dedicated to the Egyptian queen, Hatshepsut, who ruled around 500 BC. Perhaps the most notable characteristic in skincare is its ability to produce apoptosis, which is that cell death again, in wrinkled or damaged skin cells to combat premature aging. Here's a fun fact. At least 33 different essential oils or aromatic oil producing plants are mentioned in the Bible. Incense is mentioned 68 times. The actual words referring to oils are mentioned or referenced over 600 times. And many of these scriptures speak of the oil of joy, the oil of goodness, and they speak how oils rejoice the heart. So not only do we want to use them from the physical side, but we also want to use them for the emotional well-being that they can bring on as well. The next oil I want to touch on is sandalwood. Now, sandalwood is referred to as aloes in the Bible, okay? It's not the same type of aloe plant that we have in our kitchen for when we get burned, okay? It's not to be confused with aloe vera, which is a North American plant. And this is actually used to heal wounds and open sores, uh, used to soothe and dry chapped and wrinkled skin, and promotes a smooth complexion and can reduce appearance of skin imperfections. On one of our other calls, someone had said that they use sandalwood for the brown spots that they've gotten on their skin. So it helps with that as well. And again, on the bottom of the slide, it has Numbers 24, 6, Psalm 45, 8, Proverbs 7, 17, Song of Solomon 4, 14, and John 19, 39, all speak of these aloes or otherwise known as sandalwood. Now next is lavender. Whose favorite is lavender? It's one of ours in our home for sure. We use it all the time. My kids joke and they say, yeah, mom, I broke my leg and here's what she's gonna tell me. Oh, go just put the lavender on, right? <laughs> like, it's not that far, not that far with it, but yeah, I get it, kids. So lavender was also called nard, according to the Greeks. 
The accounts in the New Testament were originally written in Greek or Aramaic. Many researchers claim that 2,000 years ago, lavender was referred to as spike nard or simply nard from the Greek name for lavender, nardus or nardus, after the Syrian city Narda or Narda from where it was derived, okay? So some of the historical uses are it's cleansing to the skin. It can soothe skin irritations. We kind of like liken it to lavender being all things calming. It's calming for red, bumpy, or sunburned skin. It promotes cell biogenesis, which is the reproduction of cells. And it's known to stop bleeding and has been used for centuries for skin imperfections. In John 12, 3, it states, Mary then took a pound of very costly perfume of pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. Next is helichrysum. I have to say, you guys, helichrysum has always been one of my favorite oils in the Bible. Or it's not actually mentioned in the Bible, sorry. It's just one of my favorite oils. Um, not mentioned in scripture, but it's a powerful oil. When my fireplace had burned up, burn, um, blew up in my face and I had burns all over it, helichrysum was one of the oils that I had in my little tincture that I sprayed on my face. You guys, I healed in seven days. A lot of the oils that are, that are in this actual blend is what I utilized. It was crazy on not having any scars or anything. And so old scars, helichrysum is amazing for. It can also reduce the appearance of blemishes, um, it's great for its restorative and calming properties for the skin. You guys, this is one that can stop bleeding on contact, okay? You get a cut and it's bleeding, you can put it on and it will stop it right away. We use that all the time for that. It's an emollient and moisturizing, and it is one that can also help reduce the appearance of age spots, fine lines, wrinkles, and even the appearance of skin tone and texture. Now next is rose. Rose is known as the queen of essential oils. We already talked about frankincense, who's known as the king. Rose is absolutely absolutely amazing and it was highly regarded for its anti-aging, moisturizing and regenerative properties. Cleopatra regarded rose as one of her favorite fragrant perfumes. It's beneficial for all skin types, but particularly helpful for mature skin. And some historical uses include um, treating wounds and skin inflammations. Egyptian women used rose to cleanse and protect skin against harsh, dry desert winds. It was regarded in medieval times for the treatment of scars. And Roman women made rose petal balms to quote, banish wrinkles. Rose is definitely amazing. My son actually had some skin irritations on his legs. We didn't even know what it was and we had scanned him and it came up with rose. And once he started using that, the itching went away. Um, we did use tri -Ease as well, but it was crazy on how that went away so quickly from using that particular oil. And so when we look at a whole of put, a mortel, um, when we look at putting oils together, it's kind of one plus one equals three. So by putting all of these oils together and actually they, they cohesively work together, so it's even better can be even better for our skin than just a singular oil once a day. So, so some of the benefits of Immortel as a whole is it helps restore sc skin damage by the sun, promotes tissue matrix mending and renewal, supports inflammation reduction, a major contributor to aging process of the skin. It helps skin retain and balance its natural moisture levels redu and reducing scarring, supports apoptosis, promotes healthy cell proliferation, it repairs and renews, it helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It's also smoothing and calming to your irritated dry or chapped skin and promotes youthful looking complexion. And so this is one that I use twice a day. I will just take it and roll it all over my face, my neck, and even down on my, my chest area here where it can get a little bit, um, when I'm dehydrated, it can get a little bit wrinkly. And I'll put that all on there to underneath my makeup um, because I think it also helps with um, a little bit of an SPF for sunscreen. I know Helichrysum does have that, those properties. And so um, I use that underneath my makeup then and then at night before I go to bed, I do it again. And again, it's that glow and that even tone of skin. I had some scarring because I had some acne that wasn't going away and it's finally starting to, to go away. So 
um, it's, it's amazing what these can do as far as regenerating um, that skin. So one of the things I'm so excited about you guys is that this month is it's free with any 200 PV order. So if you have not put your order in yet, I highly recommend you do that today or tomorrow because there's two reasons. Number one, because you can get this free Immortel. That's a $92 retail value for free. doTERRA is giving it to us. But also, you can get a free Nioli, which is an oil that we can't even purchase. Um, and this is for a 125 PV order. But if you do the 200, you'll get the free Immortel and the free Nioli. Um, it's great for um, a cleaning spray. You can also um, add it to your skincare routine. So this is another one that you can put directly onto your skin. Um, and it's a, it's a great aroma. I absolutely love it with some citrus oils. So, so that is all that I have for you all to go through some of the science behind Immortel, some of the, um, the, the healing properties of the different oils that are in there and how they actually work onto our skin. So does anyone have any questions at all? Comments? Was this helpful to you? Andrea, do you put it on under your lotion or do you put your lotion on first? I put it under my lotion directly on my skin. Now, if you have sensitive skin, you will want to dilute it. So you might put it into your um, on after your lotion or actually maybe take a little bit and put it into your lotion and use it that way if you have more sensitive skin. Um, if you do, it is 100% oils in that bottle, everyone. Um, and so, yes, for sensitive skin, definitely you can split it up and you can dilute it down so that you, um, you don't have any issues um, with that um, that way. Thank you. Awesome. You're welcome. Thank you for asking. I put the Nayuli in with, I just remade all of my on guard hand sanitizers. I had bought a ton of them each month. <laughs> so when I remade it, I put Nayuli in there with my on guard and it smells so good together because it's an extra power punch of antiviral. Um, and so I'm also going to make a roller for my kids to use with Nayuli. Um, and I get the Immortel. So, you know, they don't get to have that, but I do. Right. So, I love it. <laughs> it smells so good. Right. The smell is good. And I missed it. I hadn't had it for a long, I didn't realize how long it's been since I actually had Immortel. And it's so, it is different than that serum that's in the, so when you, um, when you get the, um, the skincare, um, which skincare is it that it's in? Not the essential skincare. I just went blank. Citrus barrage. The barrage skincare. Thank you. We have a we have different skincare systems. So the barrage skincare comes with a serum that says it's the Immortel serum, but it does not. It's not the same as the oil. So getting the oil was it was different. I was like, oh, I'll save some money and get it this way. Oh, no. so dark, it's not the same. It's not the same thing. Does For diluting sure. it make it less effective, or just? Um, I wouldn't say less effective. It'll just stay on your skin a little bit longer and not go in as much, but also for sensitive skin and so that people don't come up with sens sensitivities, you definitely would want to dilute it if, if that's something that, um, especially if you're using the, you know, every single day that way, I'm going to go add some coconut oil to mine actually, because I use it every single day. Um, and so we just don't want to have skin sensitivities come up either. So it's probably a good thing to dilute it too. Thank you. Go ahead, Claudia. Um, it actually, when I first started using it, it was very strong for my skin. It almost like burned. So I separated into two and it works great. And now I get two for the price of one. So it was a win-win. <laughs> and it, right. smell, it smells lovely, ladies. If you've never had it, Martel, just go to Andrea and have a sniff and you're going to want this, I promise you. It does definitely smell great. So... Oh, great. Terry made a face lotion, I think, with Immortel in it, and she says it's lovely, or it's wonderful. Awesome. All right. Is that it for questions? Well, that is all that I have for you tonight, ladies. I want to thank you all for jumping on to an impromptu last-minute class about Immortel. I just thought the timing was great um, Sunday evening. Um, and going through a few of those, you know, looking at some of those scriptures today, it was good to study that a little bit. So um, I'd encourage you go in and look into your Bible app and look at how oils have been used in history for yourself 
so you can kind of see, you know, what they what they were used for and how we can use them in our day to day life as well to not only help us with the skin and looking beautiful, but again, the emotional side of things as well. Um, bringing joy and peace and all of that into our lives, especially with everything that's going on. So, so our next um, class is Thursday evening, and we are going to be doing a seven minutes to a healthier you symphony of the cells class. So we'll be going through that as our ongoing education. So I really hope you guys can come for that. The registration is, our, is in our group. If you haven't registered, go ahead and register and that gets you for all of our ongoing education classes. Um, you can also um, talk to the person that invited you here and they can get you the information for those classes as well. So yes, Claudia. I have a question from Elaine. Uh, she said, I'm using HD Clear now. Do I use Immortel on top of HD Clear on top or before the regimen? Somebody had said to me, like, you go for like the, the thinner to thicker when you're doing your, your regimens. So whatever's, you know, thinner, she's doing the HD Clear like um, rollerball. Um, she can, I mean, she can do it either way. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, but you'd always wash your face first and then put this on. And then I usually do the moisturizer after or mix the two together. And another question that just came into my mind because my, my skin is kind of dry. I'm okay diluting with coconut oil, but what about people that have actually like greasy, greasy, um, greasy skin or oily skin is called not greasy. That sounds like fried potato. <laughs> Just like for oily skin, will it be okay to dilute it with a different carrier or maybe even aloe vera gel at nighttime? Well, I, from what I've heard, and I'm not, you guys, I'm not a, um, a skincare person, but just from what I've learned over time is a lot of times if you have over oily skin, it's because you don't have enough moisture. And so it's actually might be a better thing to have the coconut, I have people saying yes, that I'm on right track with this, okay. Um, but I would have them kind of go research that a little bit more. Um, just because you're putting that on your, your face doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to make it more greasy. Okay. okay. Thank you. Audrey, um, what I know from the skincare is people overstrip when they have oily skin. And okay. then it makes your body say, oh, I don't have enough. So they produce more oil. So it's a vicious cycle. So if they're using a cleaner that's over stripping, it could be causing the very problem they're trying to solve. So that's something that you should look into when you're using things for oily skin. Make sure you use them in a, as a minimum and not over the top. So you're not producing that which you're trying to solve. So that can help also with using products. That's just over my nutrition and research that I've learned over the years as well. Awesome, thank you, Jerrica. You're welcome. I will add real quick too that I have seen quite a few people that ordered, if you ordered like 125 PV at the beginning of the month, um, you can call doTERRA and do another, whatever that amount is to accumulate a total of 200 PV and they will more than likely give you the Immortel for free. So if you are in that spot where you're like, oh crap, I already ordered and I ordered 160 and I'm not doing another 200 point order, call them first, know what you want to order, and then they can um, just put it into your order for you. So they're, they're amazing with their customer service. They are absolutely. I've seen that done many times. And I just did that very thing. <laughs> so it works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited you're getting your immortal. I mean, that's- I know, me too. I have mine already. You do. Yeah. Are you using it? Are you liking it? I've got, I'm, just, I'm just gonna start using it. I'm gonna divide it in the two. So I will, it will last me longer. <laughs> yeah, there's no like, I have no, I have a little bit of just powder makeup on. That's it, you guys. Like I am doing some good vitamins and stuff, you know, our Lifeline Vitality Pack, which helps with our skin as well. But I mean, I'm like amazed at how beautiful. Like Danielle said, you know, this is a difference when you use it or you don't. Me too. Me too. So. Thank you, ladies. Yeah. Get rid of those wrinkles. I think they're kind of going. Through. <laughs> I like to use it after sun. I'm in the sun a lot because we have a pool. So I like to use it after the sun too on my shoulders and all that good stuff. All right. Well, thank you everyone so much for joining us. Jamie, do you have something thank else? Thank you. I'm sorry, you unmuted and then you. Nope. I was just going to say that it's, it's good for its medicinal benefits too. So it's really good for headaches. You can add it with some peppermint, but 
it's got so many other medicinal benefits to it. It's just insane. So, I mean, sandalwood, heliquism, those are not the um, lower price range oils. So getting it in, in Martell is incredible because you can use that for a lot of other things. So absolutely. I'll stretch it. That goes, you know, one oil can do like a hundred things and people are like, how does that work? And I'm like, oh, there's just different constituents. Like lavender, you guys has 200 known constituents, 200 known. So how many are unknown? Each one of those yeah. can kind of do a different thing, right? That's why they're so powerful too. So taking one of those constituents out of its natural thing, it doesn't work as well. So we want to keep it all together and, and use it in its natural form. And you guys just looking around and how can you switch out those more natural and put more of those natural things in your house. So, all right, everyone, we'll have an amazing rest of your evening and we will see you on Thursday night at 6.30 p.m. Um, the Zoom comes when you register. So we'll talk to you all then. Have a great night. Bye.